Alrighty, so the next skill that I'm going to show you guys is uh, foot care. So it's kind of similar to hand and nail care because you're only doing uh, one body part. So like with hand and nail care, just one hand. Foot care, it's only one foot, okay? So your patient is already going to um, have uh, one shoe off, okay? And just their socked foot there. So at least you know which one you're going to be taking care of, okay? So again, we're just going to knock in, knock, knock, knock. And you're going to introduce yourself. Good morning, Mr. Jones. How are we doing today? Good. Right, fantastic. Uh, my name is Michael. I'm going to be your CNA today. And uh, we're going to go ahead and perform foot care on you. Is that all right? Okay. okay, excellent. So you let the patient know what you're going to be doing. You're going to go ahead and close the curtain for the patient's privacy. Okay? And you're going to go ahead and perform your hand hygiene. All right? So first, I'm going to go ahead and put the chucks down here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my patient's foot on right there. Now I'm going to get all my supplies, okay? So for this, I'm going to go ahead and get my soap and my lotion, okay? I'm also going to get my linens. So linens, just like hand and nail care, this is 21. So two washcloths, one towel, okay? And again, you can get your linens first or you can get your other supplies first. It doesn't matter, uh, just as long as you, know, you don't confuse yourself, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my water. Okay, so psh, got my water. It's gonna be about half full. I'm gonna go ahead and test it, okay? Make sure the temperature is okay. Ms. Jones, can you test it? Temperature good for you? Okay. Now for this, okay, uh, gloves are optional. Okay, so you can either wear gloves or not, either way, okay? I'm gonna show it without gloves, but uh, I will tell you when to put gloves on and when to take them off, okay? So, you've got your water in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, washcloths in there, okay? You're not gonna take your patient's sock off and you're gonna put the patient's sock on the chucks. Best thing to remember is the chucks is dry land. That's where you wanna keep everything. You don't want anything to go into the hot lava, as I like to call um, the outer edges, okay? The carpets or tile, everything on the chuck, okay? So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the patient's sock off, okay? And we're just gonna place it right there. Now we're gonna take the patient's foot and we're just gonna submerge it in the basin, okay? There is no special time for this, just enough to get the water and everything on the foot, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and take the patient's foot out, all right? And we are now going to go ahead and clean. So right before you took the sock off, you would have went ahead and put your gloves on, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my soap, all right? And we're just gonna go ahead and lift the patient's foot, all right? You're doing the bottoms, tops, in between the toes, okay? There we go. Now, the hamper, you wanna make sure that you get up and walk to the hamper for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it to the side you make sure you get up and go and put it into the hamper, okay? So that's um, soap. This is gonna be rinse, okay? And you're just gonna go ahead and rinse that off. And at this time, this is a good time to be inspecting the foot for any um, skin breakdown, cuts, any sort of things like that. You wanna state that out loud, okay? So now we've got uh, soap, rinse the foot. Now we're gonna go ahead and dry, okay? So what I like to do is just to open the foot, or rather the, uh, the towel, sorry, and go ahead and place the foot in the towel and go ahead and pat it dry. So you want to uh, now apply lotion, okay, to the foot. So we're going to go ahead and put it in your hands. You want to warm the lotion up, okay? And you're going to start at about the ankles and just work towards the toes, okay, bottoms and tops. You have to state out loud that I am not putting any lotion in between the toes. Okay, so now that that is done, you're going to go ahead and pat the excess lotion off of the foot. And then you're going to place your sock on your patient's foot. Okay, there we go. And then this is where you're going to take the patient's shoe. You're going to go ahead and put their shoe on. Now, if they have uh, shoelaces or slipped on shoes like this, you would just go ahead and place that on. Okay. You're going to place the foot back, and now you're going to clean up, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take the water. We're going to go ahead and rinse this three times, okay? So one, two, and three. 
shut the water off. I'm going to go ahead and clean this, all right, dry this out. You don't want to ever put anything away wet. All right, so any of my linens would be put in the hamper. Okay, so that would all be put into the hamper. I've got my soap and my lotion. That gets put back where I found it. And your chucks is gonna be rolled away from your patient. There we are. And then that will be thrown into the trash. Mrs. Jones, is there anything else that I can do for you today? No. Okay, fantastic. Um, do you, would you like a magazine? No. Okay, fantastic. So this is where, if you had gloves on, this is where you would take them off, okay? Then you're going to throw out your gloves. You're going to go ahead and put the call light on the bed, okay? You're then going to go ahead and open the curtain, and you are going to perform hand hygiene. You're going to look around, make sure that your patient, uh, that you've done everything for this skill, and then you're going to look to the evaluator and say, my skill is done.